Some people say they've been visited multiple times since submitting their responses on or before Census Day on March the 21st. Are you a victim of that? While we try and sort out uh, the problems with our phones, let's bring to the conversation uh, Steve Konsifich, who's a lawyer and partner at BLM, specialising in privacy issues. Um, so, I'm sorry, I, I'm unable to see a brief because we have a few issues here, Mr Konsifich. Are, are you saying you have issues with the 2021 20, census? Good morning to you. Good morning, Nick. Uh, I'm not, actually. I mean, the, the census, taking part in the census is a legal requirement. Right. And certainly the, the papers are full of reports about IT issues uh, this morning, and that's not maybe unexpected in government projects. I, I'm aware IT. of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I We're battling with them at the moment. <laughs> I, I, I think everybody is um, remote yeah. working, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I think a, a lot of people have raised privacy issues as well, but I think the government has gone out of its way. There's been a lot mentioned about how the, the data that's collected is going to be used, and and unfortunately, I think this is just a, an example of, of a project that's probably got a little bit out of hand. Just going back in history, and if I'm taking you in an area you don't know, just say, but I, I assume this census more has been put online or relied upon from computers and those systems, I imagine, than ever before. Is that right, Steve? Yes, I would imagine so. It's, um, it, you know, th that's one of the great things about, about technology is it allows for big projects like this, but of course the technology is only great as long as the technology works. And if someone, of course, we have to be realistic, not everyone has access to going online. You, know, you got the card through the door, you got your unique reference number, you sat down and you filled it. What of people who don't have access to a computer do we know? Well, that's a very fair question, and I think when we've seen a lot of complaints about census takers knocking on the door to have this discussion, that's maybe the answer, because what the government doesn't want to do, I mean, the whole point of a census is to make sure they've got the right demographic information about the population, so that decisions aren't taken which could have a negative effect on people, and what they're trying to do is to avoid prejudice to people who maybe don't have access to a smartphone, mm. and there are plenty out there, so that they can have their voice heard and make sure they've got the right information about them. L lastly, I guess the point I'm driving at is that if, if sadly you are elderly or you're vulnerable and you feel you've perhaps been a little bit left behind, mm. relying on everything going online, sadly, is probably only going to underscore that sense that you've been left behind. you see what I'm driving at? No, I see exactly what you're driving at, and we, we see it across any number of, of clients that we work with, and any project like this, if you're going to include the whole nation in its, uh, in its role, uh, you've got to be as inclusive as possible, and that's with technology or without it, I think. Grateful for your time. Thank you. Steve Consifich is a lawyer and partner of the firm BLM, specialising in social media and privacy issues.